Silly Bowser, what's he up to this time? There's been a Princess Peach spotting, and Bowser's gonna go find her. But not before we play a Super Mario Brothers parody! Woohoo! Ah, oh, excuse me. I like this. This is pretty cool. Uh, the meat things are basically the mushrooms. And getting two of them makes you pretty much invincible. Super Bowser 64. And there we go. <laughs> Roar, I'm so big I can't fit in my own castle. They're pretty easy little mini games, but they're fun nonetheless to play. Oh, hey, welcome to Pelbergen. Hi, everybody. Hi. Well, Bowser is kind of ugly. Shield me from the face. There's Princess Peach. Bingo. Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. <laughs> Yeah, why is she being so... Ha! <laughs> she's speechless. Because she sees Bowser. That's why she's so speechless. No! My life should I rather die than give up my life size speech poster! Uh, poster? Wow, Bowser. You sure can call it, huh? Well, we'll leave Bowser to talk with his posters. So, now we see Bowser's, uh, new love of talking to posters. We leave the great tree. And, uh, if you come back after, uh, you go to the Thousand Year Door and talk to Petunie. You'll play a little game with her, and if you, well, play the game correctly, you'll get a uh, special egg. And uh, that can be used for uh, cooking stuff. And more email. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's go. Damn it. Run away, run away. Da da da. Let's try this again. Run away, run away. Da 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 da. Can I swing from a web? No, I can't. Not a pig. Look out. Oh, no, I'm just being random. Uh, right, well, like I said, we have a... Well, I don't think I said it, but... We have a second crystal star. Let's go to the door. We. And this will be the last chapter you are forced to go the... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Since we have Flurry out... What's in here? I forgot. Ah, the Happy Heart P! Basically, your partner's HP slowly recovers over time. Very nice badge. If you're relying on your partners a lot. And my shoulder just cracked a bit. Ow. Stiff. Anyway, enough about me. Let's hold up the crystal star! And more sparkly lights. How can someone not be mesmerized by the shiny? And we 
are using the force to levitate this map. We. So where is number three? Where is the third crystal star, I wonder? Where is it? Boom! Okay, I definitely did not see that before. A city in the sky. Interesting. Well, there's only one thing to do. Talk to Franklin. And he goes on about stuff. And this is basically more plot. <laughs> and there's something you'll never hear a professor say. I DON'T KNOW! This is just mind-boggling. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena that's there where great warriors engage in furious battles. People who've played this game before know what I'm talking about. It's one of the, their most favorite places. And mine, actually. And we need to go to Don Pinta. Pinta. Or whatever. So we need to find him so we can get a ticket to a blimp ride. That'll take us to Glitzville. Let's stop by Merlon power up somebody. Let's see. Eh, why not? I've done a little research and Fleur is not as useless as one would think. So, eh, why not? I know I'm losing multi bonk, but I got multi bounce, so. Or. Uh. Power bounce, rather. To make up for that. Alright, well, we're going to end this part off. Uh, I will see you all next time when we go gain an audience with Don Pint Pinta, or whatever, however you pronounce it.